Mercury, Utah is one of Utah's most famous ghost towns, yet not trace of its existence. It quite literally died and was reborn several times. The mining town produced more than 16 million of gold ore by 1913 and became known for many firsts in both mining and technology. Merkur was located in Tuella County, just over 20 miles southeast of the city of Tuella. Probably the most amazing thing about this once thriving mining town is that despite once having a population ranging from 6,000 to 12,000 people, along with all the stores, homes, hotels, and businesses that went along with them, nothing remains besides the old town cemetery. So even though it will seem that a visit to present day Mercury, Utah might provide some interesting sites, it will be a waste of time. The town site is close to the public by its current owner. The town first came into being in 1870 as Lewiston. A small gold rush began, picking about 1873. The population reached as high as 2000. During the mid 1870s, silver mines were opened million dollars worth of silver was shipped down the valley but the ore quickly gave out and Lewiston became a ghost town by 1880. In 1879 a Bavarian miner named Aria Pinedo had discovered a deposit of cinnabar in the area. The ore contained gold as well as mercury but contemporary processes were unable to extract it In 1890, a group of Nebraska farmers bought the Mercury claim through an over-optimistic promoter. They opened the mine and put in a basic amalgamation mill, a ground flop. Mercury ores were not workable with the ancient process. One of the Nebraska partners, Gilbert Payton, a former druggist, heard of the new but unperfected cyanide process and gave it a try. Fearful of losing his and his relatives' investment, he solved the difficulties of the new method on the ores, and by December 1891, proved that cyanide process worked, the first such successful operation in the United States. As a result, Peyton and his brother-in-law, partner Hall Brown, became rich as did others of the Nebraska group. Soon there were enough people to build a new town on the old site, but the name of Lewiston was already taken by then. The citizens settled on the name Mercury. In 1902, a fire that started in the business district of the town burned almost the entire city to the ground. The town was rebuilt mining resumed again. In its heyday, there were about 5,000 residents of Mercury. Mercury supported a large Italian immigrant community. Young men were attracted by the opportunity of high waves and the romance of the American Wild West. By 1916, there was only one building left in Mercury. And finally, by 1930, it was gone. All that's left of the great mining town is its small cemetery, which closed in 1915. It sits atop a steep hill and it's accessible from the canyon road by a narrow trail. The graveyard is the resting place of some 100 souls rock ovals with larger limestone slabs at their heads mark 40 or so graves. The rest are completely unmarked. Around 20 of the marked graves are individually enclosed by picket fences. Of all the graves on the hill, 
only one bears an actual carved headstone. In recent years, the cemetery has become a popular target for paranormal investigation groups who document their finding in frightening detail. There's the little girl who appreciates the dolls that visitors place on her grave. There's the Italian immigrant miner who enjoys a nice graveside conversation. And let's not forget the coal spots of the power drain on electronic devices. Paranormal enthusiasts argue that places marked with high emotion or scared by tra traumatic history act as a spectral magnet. They are hotspots, areas of high paranormal activity. In short, they are haunted. Many ghost towns naturally fit in this description, especially those built around mining. different type of um, adventures. Today, um, I've been actually researching about different places in Utah. And this place is actually one of those places that um, is intriguing. Because we're talking about uh, a cemetery in the middle of nowhere. We don't have any, any town around it. Why, there's no families attached to these graves because um, it's interesting how we can forget about people in the past. Now, what I've been hearing a lot is there's different things going on here. And I'm hoping within these next two weeks that I'm going to be able to show you something. For those non-believers, there's something going on here. Let's go. Okay, guys. Um, here we go. We're going to start walking to the cemetery. Um, as you can see, like I said before, is in the middle of the uh, is in the middle of nowhere. You can see one of the things that I'm actually trying to be aware of. Um, there's a there can be rattlesnakes here. Actually, I'm with uh, with my guide who brought me here, and we're gonna be coming here in the next. We might do one or three visits. Uh, the last one, I'm hoping I can have a spirit box.
and this is the grave for um, supposed to be a baby girl that was buried here um, you can see all the toys that people come as a tribute tribute right gift for them for the little girl um, this is definitely you could you have a feeling here there is a feeling here I just want to say something to the souls here um, I just want you to know whoever is here that we come in peace we're just trying to tell the story we're not trying to be disrespectful by any means and there is supposed to be another grave that it has a little girl in it. It's you can see all the uh, gift that people bring. It's been forgotten for years. Yes. Like whoever had family here, they move on. Yes. Uh, it's been what a hundred and something years. So two generations after. They're not gonna they're not gonna remember about these people. These people are here and they're you know the only people that come here they come and do crazy stuff. You can tell. Yeah. There's fires over there, like somebody came and that that's why these people these people are not resting. All the souls here are just like being disrespected. That's a small one. That's gotta be a baby baby. See these. It's like this part. They're not cooking here, right? <laughs> Did you think that foil paper is for? I don't know. See how people come here and they spend the night? Mm -hmm. I don't know what weird stuff they do, especially in places like these. It's disturbing. Yeah. My stuff is going crazy. Mm -hmm. My stuff is going crazy. Is it? Check your cell phone. Then my, my watch is connected to my cell phone, right? The only way it will not pair, unpair, is if I do it. It keeps pairing and unpairing. Really? Yeah. You can tell. There is a... Que estoy en, el, en este lugar, eh, conocido como Merker, Cementerio Merker. Es una área muy alejada aquí en, 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 el, en los valles de Utah um, no hay nombres no hay fechas pero este lugar es, es muy impresionante en medio de la nada no ninguna de las de las um, de las tumbas tienen nombre o fecha nada no hay información quiénes son eh, cuándo murieron nada Ahora bien, eh, por nuestra cultura en El Salvador, nosotros creemos que, que no puedes olvidar a tus muertos. Siempre hay un día, ustedes saben, hay un día, se celebran los muertos, se llevan flores. Imagínense este, 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 estas personas aquí, sin nadie quien venga a, a enflorar, sin nadie que los recuerde, sin ningún familiar vin, viniendo acá, eh, Definitivamente es un lugar donde las almas no tienen ese, ese, um, ese descanso. Pero lo que sí es cierto y lo que está comprobado es que nuestras almas son energía. Nuestra energía se queda atrapada en estos lugares. Si nuestra energía no tiene forma de, de conectarse con esas personas que conocíamos cuando estábamos en vida, ¿qué vas a hacer? Vas a vagar. Te vas a encontrar perdido, básicamente. Eh, siempre pendientes de ellos. Ya no están. Son generaciones. Estamos hablando de 120 años aproximadamente desde que estas personas fueron enterradas aquí. Y al parecer están olvidados, como pueden ver. Um, hay unas de las tumbas que, que quiero enseñar. Por ejemplo, esta parece ser una pareja. No me gusta pararme en ellas porque es un poco... Eh, e irrespetuoso um, si pueden ver una pareja 
es lo que me hace pensar. Niños, niñas, no se sabe. Si pueden ver. Uh, por aquí también les voy a enseñar una más. Esta parece ser una tumba que tiene tenía alguna inscrip inscripción. Eh, ya no se puede leer nada. Eh, esta que parece ser de un de un niño. Las personas que vienen acá muchos traen tributos. Eh, otra más. Si ¿Sí pueden ver. Personas dejan dinero. Pelotas. Y como pueden ver, en medio de la nada. No hay nada en kilómetros, millas. Este parece ser la única que tiene una forma de tumba mucha gente viene aquí y hacen rituales satánicos eh, es definitivamente eh, un área que tiene mucha mucha historia y mucha energía